my fellow Americans, our long national nightmare is over. When I got through Michigan, I was offered uh, opportunities at the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions, but I had a chance to go to Yale as an assistant football coach and go to law school at the same time. So that opportunity was so uh, wonderful. I couldn't turn down the chance to further my education and earn some money in the meantime. I would, in retrospect, like to have played one year just to prove that I could. But the opportunity to go to Yale and be an assistant coach and go to law school at the same time might not have been available. Former President Gerald R. Ford passed away last night. I spoke with Betty Ford. On behalf of all Americans, Laura and I extend to Mrs. Ford and all President Ford's family our prayers and our condolences. President Ford was a great man who devoted the best years of his life in serving the United States. He was a true gentleman who reflected the best in America's character. Before the world knew his name, he served with distinction in the United States Navy and in the United States Congress. As a congressman from Michigan and then as vice president, he commanded the respect and earned the goodwill of all who had the privilege of knowing him. On August 9, 1974, he stepped into the presidency without ever, ever having sought the office. He assumed power in a period of great division and turmoil. The president, in my opinion, is completely innocent, and uh, any fair appraisal of the documentation will show uh, that he should be exonerated. I, Gerald R. Ford, President of the United States, pursuant <clears throat> to the pardon power conferred upon me by Article 2, Section 2 of the Constitution, have granted, and by these presents do grant, a full, free, and absolute pardon unto Richard Nixon. For a nation that needed healing, and for an office that needed a calm and steady hand, Gerald Ford came along when we needed him most. I want to thank my predecessor for all he has done to heal our land.
Americans will always admire Gerald Ford's unflinching performance of duty and the honorable conduct of his administration and the great rectitude of the man himself. We mourn the loss of such a leader and our 38th president will always have a special place in our nation's memory. President Ford lived 93 years and his life was a blessing to America. And now this fine man will be taken to his rest by a family that will love him always and by a nation that will be grateful to him forever. May God bless Gerald Ford. Bless us all. And help us to care about all. To care about all Americans and to better understand one another. Thank you and good night.